What is up YouTube, it is your boy Chico Filo here, back with a new video and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new Season 7 video. Honestly guys, I'm loving the season so far, honestly. Um, Epic has done a really, really great job with all the maps and the zipline of course is probably one of my fave parts. But um, yeah, let me know in the chat, yo, I'm um, sorry, let me know in the, in the comment section below, what's your favorite um, part about Season 7 at the moment? But uh, for me, I'm enjoying the season so far, man. I'm loving the skins, everything they've added in the battle pass and whatnot. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's get straight into it. So in this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys what I think is the fastest way to do 90s. Okay, guys, so normally, this is how people would do their 90s. So I'm going to slowly walk through it so you guys know. Um, sorry, so you guys notice the difference. So normally, people would place a ramp there, then a wall here, wall there, wall there, wall, and then jump for ramp. Okay, so normally, that's how people would do it. Um, that's pretty straightforward guys so anyway and doing that um, I feel like you are I mean it is kind of fast right but um you you do get limited after you do your double 90s because after you do your double 90s which is this after you do two right that's that's, that's what's oh I just ran out of mats but um after you you guys just saw that um, after I did my double 90s there you guys can see that I had to like run up my ramp which I feel like is it's a lot longer so it takes a lot longer than if I was to do it differently, which is what I'm about to show you guys soon. Anyway, let me show you guys that again. So um, so this is the double 90 here. So after I do two, notice how I have to like run up from here to here just so I can do another 90 guys. And and that way I feel like that, um, sorry, I feel like that kind of slows it down like when you're building up. Like you only kind of build two levels up, then you have to run up. And um, yeah, it just takes a lot longer. Whereas you can do it this way. I'm gonna show you guys two different variations of this. So if you do it this way, you actually won't even have to like run up your ramp. You can continuously, <coughs> sorry, you can continuously uh, move up levels by doing your 90s without having to worry about um, wasting time like running up your ramp as you would normally do in like your traditional way of doing 90s. But anyway, um, let me guys, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is the first variation, guys. I'm pretty sure I saw this from one of the um, other Chronic guys. That's it guys, so um, this is how they did it and I tried it out and it is true, it does look a little bit slower but um, as a matter of fact it isn't slower, you honestly gain labels a lot faster. So um, in, this, in this way you actually conserve materials as well. So normally guys in the um, traditional method of doing 90s you guys will use, uh, let me just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 building pieces to go up one level. I mean around six to seven so one two three four five six um six sorry seven if i'm if i was to place a floor there but um in saying that this is the um method that i'm talking about so instead of doing that guys this is what we're gonna do we're gonna place a ramp so that's one material two three four so that's all you need honestly and um as you guys can see this makes a staggering difference um as you guys can see, I went up like three three or four levels right there without even having to um, like run up from this side to like up here. Um, compared to how we normally would in like our traditional way of doing it. So um, as you guys can see here, this is a lot faster. I mean, I did conk myself out there, but you just got to practice um, timing your jumps right because honestly, this is a lot quicker and you will find this a lot more effective when um, trying to gain the high ground. So um... Yeah, as you guys can see, this is honestly a lot faster. I just need to focus on like not conking myself out there. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, this is the second method that I found, guys. That is also a lot faster than doing um 90 the traditional way. So um, it uses the same amount of materials, but it does look a lot different. And at the same time, it does look slow. But trust me, you guys will be gaining a lot. Um, sorry, you guys will be gaining high ground a lot faster than doing it in the normal way. And this is what it looks like, guys. You're gonna place a ramp here, and you guys are gonna make a 90 degree turn as usual. Place a wall there and a wall on top of it. Jump, ramp, and um, that's pretty much it. You guys are gonna be repeating that process. Um, and doing this, 
I, I know you guys are thinking already it does look slow but honestly if we, once you guys do it continuously you guys will find that you guys will be gaining high ground a lot faster than um, doing it the traditional way at the same time as saving your mats as well as you guys can see like honestly Um, the main thing that you guys want to focus on is staying on the um, on one side of the ramp. So you guys can either do it, you know, whichever way you want to rotate, like uh, through from the left side of the ramp or the right side of the ramp. It's completely up to you. But um, the most important part here is timing your jump, because you don't want to build like the, your this ramp, like say over you. Oops. Like you don't want to end up like this, because then you're gonna have to, you know, either edit this ramp or like build this way. But um. Yeah, so make sure you guys just t time your jump properly. That is the only thing you guys need to learn if you guys want to do it this way. But um, in saying that, as you guys can see, I'm picking up high ground. I, I just gained five levels of high ground right there. Six levels of high ground right there, which I know what you guys are thinking. It looks slow, but trust me, it's a lot faster than doing it like the normal way. <laughs> Plus, you're going to be saving a lot more materials anyways. But... um. With that said, guys, this is um, the video. Um, that's all. Um, those are the two ways that I found that are a lot better and faster at doing 90s than um, your traditional way of doing it. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys find this useful in Season 7, and I hope you guys do enjoy Season 7. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. That is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe as well if you guys found this video helpful. Help me get to 10,000 subs, guys. There will be a giveaway at 10,000 subs, so stay tuned for that as well. But um, thank you guys so much for watching once again. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next one, y'all. Peace.